oh man, I discussed all my mistakes. That's the only way the kids not gonna go through the same thing. If I could do it all over again, I probably, I probably wouldn't have put out the last two singles I put out. Um, I think a lot of times when you grind as hard as I grind, that you start reaching, you feel me? Because the struggle is so painful. And a lot of times, and like I was in a meeting yesterday, so a lot of times it's just about you just staying, doing what you do. Like I watch a lot of stuff that I did two or three years ago, it's coming into fruition now. I listen to the type of beats I was making two or three years ago, it's coming into fruition now. So like, it's about just staying in your lane, do what you do, and just stay being the best at it and they'll come to you, you know? Um, but the reason why I would say that I'm glad that it happened is because if it wouldn't have happened, I wouldn't have the passion that I have to learn about the music business now. Like, I'm reading. All the time, came, first thing I did, I come here and pick up a book. You see me now on the news, I mean, you see me now on the airplane, I'm not sleeping. I'm reading, trying to get as much knowledge, I'm, I'm asking questions. And if I wouldn't have gone through what I'm going through, like my whole plan now has changed. And I look at everybody. What I'm going through now, I, I think God sends you through the fire. You look at everybody who's really been successful. Kanye's accident. After his accident, he metamorphosized. You look at Dre. Dre went through all the stuff he went through, came out with the Aftermath album, went through that. After that, metamorphosized. You look at that period when Pop was going around doing the verses for $8,000 a pop. You know, he was going through the jail situation. That metamorphosized him. So, in saying that, I wouldn't say that it's something that I wouldn't I wouldn't do because what y'all about to see, and you say this tape, give me about a year and a half, and come back and reference it. What I'm about to build is gonna be history. But if I wouldn't have gone through what I just went through, it sometimes God got to stop you, and he say, hold on, what, what are you really doing? Cause you run, 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 run. Reach, 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 reach. And what you really reaching for. So like, there was things that I would have changed, but if I would have changed them, then you wouldn't be you. Like the good and the bad is what mold you into what you are now. And it's honestly, I can see myself becoming a man now. Like before, yeah, I halfway decent with my fist. Yeah, I got guns and all that, but I wasn't quite a man yet. Like, I used to get so angry and so mad and, and, and want to fight and argue, you know, with anybody. I'm about, dude, I'm about living stress to be like, homie. I, I would much rather be in business with you and we make money together than us on some bullshit. You know, and the old David Banner may have been better for what people look at as a music perspective, but it was talent and no brains. And I think God is just really putting me through what he's putting me through now to just analyze situations. And then it's about to be a, it's a good thing. I'm just more educated now. But I don't care who you with. It's not about, it. I mean, it is about who you sign to and who you know, but it comes down to music. Like really, I sort of pushed all that, everything aside, because I was so caught up in to get my business right that a hit song would change everything. When it come down to it, it's what's the last hot song you had. If, if, if we get that together and then read, and I just finished speaking to a, a group of people 
And that's the one thing that I've been getting out of my new situation is just asking questions and reading. You know, knowing about your publishing, your points, and, you know, when you renegotiate your deal, ACON just hit me to that. You know what I'm saying? Making sure you, you get your opinion right. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, structuring deals so that we're actually able to benefit off music. But nine times out of 10, from where we come from, our people die and we have made corporations millions of dollars. And our folks broke. You know, um, even just on some you know, knowledge that I learned just yesterday, you know, um, you know, the Akon hit me too too. It's like, bro, when you get this lump of money, instead of spending all the money, make sure you put your taxes aside. So you even don't even put your taxes in the bank with your money. So we won't be tempted to spend it. But, you know, we get that hundred thousand dollar check and be like, damn, I got a hundred thousand. Nah, half of that from the jump is a problem. You know, and these are things that we we don't school the next generation of artists to. Yeah, a whole lot. Some strictly, man. Everything. You know, um, I was really the type of person who wanted to help as many people as I, I, I could. It's business. Mm -hmm. You got your time, you got to get as much as you can out of that time. And then you set your goals and your parameters on, you know, what you have time for. And you do it that way, but it's business. It's, it's, it's products and goods to be sold. You know what I'm the thing that I will tell people is just, you know, get your foundation and your spiritual um, self right. You know, stay, stay true to what you are, you know, uh, stay focused on um, what your plans and what your goals are and what you believe in as a person and make that high, you know, don't reach for what everybody else is doing or what everybody else has, that's cool, but if you stay focused and you stay current and you stay high, it'll come to you one day.